A very generous gift from a San Francisco startup is having an impact in classrooms from the Bay Area to the East Coast. Yes, Ripple, a cryptocurrency company, fulfilled more than 35,000 requests to fund teacher projects on the website DonorsChoose.com. Org. ABC 7 News reporter David Louis visits a Peninsula classroom tonight where the money will have a big impact. A show of thanks is all over social media after teachers learned San Francisco startup Ripple will fund every teacher project request posted on DonorsChoose.org. Ripple's gift, $29 million. I can't imagine $29 million. I can't even fathom that amount of money. I can't, I don't understand how how somebody could be so generous and take care of so many classrooms. Sarah Mulder helps to buy instruments, sheet music, and other supplies for her Ravenswood Middle School students with small donations on the site. Offering a music program is expensive. Stringed instruments, you're looking at several hundred dollars just for the instrument. And then the supplies are consumables that get used every year. The book, each kid needs a book that's $10. A piece of sheet music for a concert is $50 for each piece of sheet music. Support for the Ravenswood Music Program is helping Bevany Garcia, who plays clarinet, to follow in the footsteps of her family, including her great-grandfather. He was a musician. My dad's, sis, no, my dad's sister's husband, he is also um, a musician, and it runs in my family. A music program has other measurable impact. I've seen a lot of growth in our kids, both behaviorally and um, academically. Our kids are very excited about coming to music. Our attendance has gone up. DonorsChoose.org founder Charles Best says Ripple's gift will fulfill many other needs. Field trips to classroom libraries, to robotics kits, to therapeutic horseback riding for disabled students, to butterfly cocoons and owl pellets. The beauty of this music program is that it is open to all, so any student who has an interest in playing an instrument can do so, as long as they have enough instruments to go around. In East Palo Alto, David Louie, ABC 7 News.